Hello everyone, I'm you too, and welcome back to Dave the Diver. Yes, we're gonna be jumping back. We're gonna be diving back into it. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by saying, who the hell is keeps disliking my Dave the Diver videos? I I don't understand it. What am I doing? That's making you angry. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> <laughs> don't understand. It's like one of the most mysterious things. It's like every single day the diver video gets a dislike. And I'm like, who is it? Why? What's wrong with my playthrough? <laughs> Maybe it's me. I'll delete me. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm just kidding. I'm still here. You're not going to get rid of me that easy. All right. <clears throat> well, whoever it is, uh, sorry. Fuck you. Anyway. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, we're gonna do a night dive. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, I was just gonna switch out my. I have that hush dart. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. I. I there's some things I can do, but I don't know uh, exactly if I can, if I can do that night or not. Like, does I go into the record room? There's also like a lighting taking picture thing near at 20 meters or so. So we'll see. We'll just kind of look around. I'll just gather some stuff while I'm here anyway. You know, maybe doing the night dive gives you less time during Bonto's shoe sheet to, like, do stuff. Maybe that's why it has, like, that one point where it was, like, super fast and, like, it was over before I knew it. I'm like, oh. Maybe because I did a night dive that time. Okay. Okay, I need jelly. I need jellyfish, so I think that's jellyfish. That's a lionfish, I think. Shit. I'm actually gonna steal this box jellyfish. to sleep. Go to sleep, box jellyfish. It'll be okay. I'll take you somewhere safe. The kitchen. Safest place there is. I don't know. Is box jellyfish a thing you can eat? I think you're like, I don't know. What, what in jellyfish is consumable? Like, I just don't understand that in particular. I may drop the lionfish. They, they get kind of heavy after one. Eh, eh. God, these lionfish are bugging everywhere. Okay, so we need to find... I think I need to find an eel as well. It's a baseball bat. I like the shocky thing. Okay, looking for an eel, looking for jellyfish. <clears throat> oh, there's an eel right there. Gotcha. <clears throat> oh, he's angry. And he's asleep. Can I, can I bring this guy? Yeah, okay. Just took the whole eel. How that... Can you understand how big that eel was? It was like the size of him. Like, width wise. Right, can I do uh, ecology stuff while I'm in the water? No. I, don't like this I can just look at the objectives, but I can't actually try them. Okay. I like a scuba thing. Thank you. Thank you. Or scooter. I don't see the light. <laughs> it's gonna make my voice crack, but 
Uh, it has been a long day. I'm glad it's to chill and play some Dave the Diver. Also, just massive kleptomania. What is this? Oh, this is where lighting thing is. Okay. This looks like lighting fixtures. The sharks must have knocked them down. I need to pop them up and connect them again before taking the pictures. Can I, can I grab the thing and just connect it? Follow up the fallen lights. Yeah, there's one up here. Oh. oh. Pretty. Good, it looks better illuminated. I should lure plankton by dropping the lure caps in the middle. I see glowing worms. They make this scene surreal. Ah, uh, manta rays won't come if I am here. I should hide behind the pile of rocks over there until one appears. Where? Which pile of rock? Over here. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. Hello, manta ray. Oh, that is really a manta ray. I must keep my distance so I don't scare it off. But I'm supposed to take a picture of it? Yeah. No, oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, I got too close and the glowing worms dispersed. Are you serious? Is that it? Oh my god, you just die. Oh, it's just... It just put me back. Okay, thank you. I I, I saw it up here, but I, I just did react fast enough to take the picture. There we go. Oh, camera's on boost. Oh, right. Perfect. Kinda. <laughs> Alright. Good, this is fantastic. Now I must go up and talk to Udo. Goodbye, Manta Ray. You are disturbing. I forget they're just like, they're like hollow tubes. You can just like see the inside of their body from an angle. It's just like, ugh. <laughs> Alright, what else? What are the objectives I got in here? The list. Okay, so we got... I think we got all that stuff. Um, record chamber, yes. I also need to figure out how to catch the seahorses. I don't know why supposed to do that. Yeah, the record room should be over here somewhere. Okay. Ugh. Don't mind me. No, no, here it's. I think I think I went too deep. Oh sure, yeah. Shimboons. Cooking stuff, some soy sauce, nice. Oh, barracuda. You're not gonna catch you. Right in the ass! <laughs> I kinda like flipped over to your face. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so what else we got? This is probably where diving happens. 
or the deep area. No, it's a little bit further. Maybe it's down here. It is. It is actually. Yeah. Right there. Nice. All right. So maybe I can check out the record room, or not. I guess I can't. I guess not. Yeah. All right. Well. Barracuda. Oh no! Ow, he actually got me. The fuck? <laughs> he bit my fat ass. All right. Oh god! Oh no 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 not again! No, I don't want to die to those things again. God damn it! I learned my mistake. How do I use the why? So. I might as well just collect stuff until I'm full capacity, because... Sniper rifle? No, I don't want it. Oops. It's a symbol. Do I need to look up how to catch the seahorses? There might be like a special tool for it, but I'm not sure where you're supposed to get it. I think after this episode, I'll look it up. Because uh, that needs to be done. It's been on my objective list for a while, and I can't seem to find a thing. I tried the net gun, but I don't think it worked. I figured that'd be something I would have tried. Starfish. I know that much. I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember what for what though. Maybe that was the ecology thing. Maybe it was an upgrade. I can't remember. I am gonna play this a bit more frequently though, so I can finish it up and hopefully reach an ending at some point. Though I do like to f about a lot, so Blasphemous Two wasn't any occasion. I just like to explore everything about a game before I finish with it, so... Because I feel this is the kind of game where you're supposed to kind of just... feel it out and just do what you can and have fun with it. Okay, could catch other fish, which is probably in the... There's a teleport there. Oh, it's a shiznark. Should I get some shark meat? I don't have a tool. Like, I don't have a gun. I just have a touch dart thing. Oh, there's a gun right here. That's convenient. Let's see what it is. Is that rifle? Ah, it worked. That was fucking scary. Oh, there's another shark. This is a shark I've not fought before. Eh. I think I'm good at hunting sharks. Ok, 
Okay, the other side wanna charge us. Damn, god damn it, suck. Hey, I got it. Oof. Jeez. <laughs> Copper shark. More meat, please. I ain't got it all. I think that'll about do it. Yeah. That's good enough for me. Alright, let's get out of here. Pressurizing this you bitch it bitch completely Here take a look at this picture. What do you think? Oh is this Oh this is a manta ray Look how oh wait no this is what's his voice? Oh shit I can't remember Oh look how majestic it is My eyes are tearing you see I I'm just kidding Our editors will love this picture for sure You're my hero I will see you again Thousand gold Take pictures of Manta. Okay, cool. From now on, photos boss will appear at night as well. Take evening, nice evening pictures. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we did all that crap. Still on the phone. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I cut the copper shark and stuff like that. In the Manta Ray, cool. All right. Alright, turn some of these things. It's okay to turn those in. Hold on, before I turn it in, I made this mistake so many times. Do I need white chocolate kelp soy sauce? Okay, don't need that. Alright. Lily coral, feral, feather coral. Okay, so I don't need sea grapes. Okay, let's turn it in. Oh, it's actually the seaweed anyway. Or the kelp. Wait, do I need kelp? I do. Hold on, let's not do that then. Let's let's complete missions before we turn in ecology stuff. All right, let's go to the sushi shop, I guess. So I guess. Uh, it does give you less time if you do a night dive to do sushi stuff. Oh, he's back. Hey there. Oh. What? Well, say, people? Oh. It's hard to believe that's something I've only heard of a legend is for you. <laughs> there was good beer in that area. I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there will be drinks underwater. Who's this? Oh, he Angie. Yep, he appeared. Michael Bang, the master. <laughs> Michael Bang. That was a Michael Bang thing. Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I'll just have to fill my belly with what I can get. Uh, what a rude customer. What do you want? Let me introduce myself. I'm the movie director Michael Bang. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Okay. <laughs> it's fucking Transformers. <laughs> Look, your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director Michael Bing. Can't believe he's talking like that about himself. Yeah. I'm filming my new movie, The Stone, around these parts, and I can't seem to get to the ending scenes right. I think I might find new inspiration with food that'll clear up my head. Doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait. Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and it was moved every time. All I can remember is explosions. <laughs> if you can make another such a great movie through my food, I'd be willing to cook for you. Oh, so you're a fan. I'm grateful, but can you pull it off? I've got high standards when it comes to sushi. The rice they use in these parts is terrible, by the way. That's why we use the best rice we can find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare food that'll make your head all but explode with inspiration. All right, I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. <laughs> Boncho, do you have a plan? 
Mmm, cookies are not for him. I know well the pain of an tortor. I'll prepare food that will inspire him. However, as he said, the rice I use is the MNAT and that rice of this region. It bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. <laughs> I've been. Oh, uh, I've been listening to your conversation. Conversation. If it's rice, I think I could come up with something. Sorry, going from the chef to his voice, kind of like. Uh. <laughs> Do you have an idea, Otto? <laughs> Give me just a day. I'll be in touch in the morning. We can get high quality rice. We can make sushi with three kinds of fish. Titan tiger fish, harlequin hind, and coral trout. That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciates flourish. Don't be late. Oh god, okay. Alright, so we have to add... Yeah, that's for... What is this for? Is it jellyfish food? Is it tonight? Is the thing tonight? The, uh... The event? Day two. Oh, a calendar? No, it's it's later. Okay. All right. So don't don't use any of the jellyfish stuff because we're gonna save that for that day. Because that's with the little bow tie ones. So don't use those. Okay. But we have this. This is for the girl. So let's add that. Okay. And was there someone else that wanted something, or is that it? Guess not. Okay, uh... Oh boy. Can I see anything else, so... Just trying to be careful about these things. So we can get upgrade these things now. I want this like a max upgrade. Okay. That's about everything looks like. Alright, so we can get rid of that crap. should cook dish for me. Mm, coral porridge. Ah, that's something I made before. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's another sick, sick sea person. Here's the ingredients. Mm, all right, hand it over to me. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. Corals. I don't imagine them tasting good. Thank you, Boncho. Awesome, I can take this to the sea person at the workshop. Cool. Alright, got that done. Cool. Oh, Alright. Is there anything else I need to do before I... Doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, dang it. Sorry. I need to stop using analog sticks so much. Right, uh, research. I don't have plans for anything. Uh, 
ingredients. I'm not sure why I can get that. Interior. I don't want to spend money on this. Let's look at staff. Uh, so we got everybody already. Oh, how are you still in progress? Okay. I can do training now. Okay. Oh, actually, it's really cheap to upgrade all those things? Damn. Okay. Sweet. Damn, he's like a perfect motherfucker now. Oh, and I see upgrading again will give him Prep Master. Increasing the number of plates, 10% of enchants increasing. Okay. I mean, fuck, why not, right? I mean, we need someone who's really good at serving. Oh, why are you... Oh, because you're cooking. That's why. You know what? Your serving is too powerful. I'm actually going to swap you with... Wait, wait. She's decent at cooking, but she's really good at serving. I need someone to serve faster, so. I think it's all up. That's 150 for everybody. Alright, you know what? Get all their stats up. I don't really know if I should be spending my money on this, but. It's happening. Oh, she can serve drinks? Wait, can Carolina do that? Oh! Oh, I need both of those. That, that's two things I had to do myself, and that they can do that. And that saves me a lot of effort. Plus, I, I shit at serving drinks. <laughs> Especially beer. God, I'm so awful at it. Alright, I spent all my money on people, so... I think it'll be worth it, though. They're all pros and masters now. Alright. Hey, what's this? What's that thing on the bottom left? Oh, well, it's the hiring thing. Okay, never mind. Uh, get on time. Okay, let's start. Fuck up the thing again. I think I thought I. Oh, oh there you go. I, like, I thought I missed. I thought I put the stuff in there. Talented with that hand. <laughs> huh? Why are you crying so? Too good. You fuck. This is way too good. Damn, it's too good. It reminds me of my father. <laughs> What's going on, kid? My name's Maki. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths, and I can't get in touch with him anymore. His spirit food was kombu and white trevely ochuzuke, and I heard you sell it here. I thought he might have come by here. Mm. That's a pity. I'll be sure to tell if we see someone that looks like your father. Mm. And what is that doll? Mm. This is Cleon. Cleon? Cleon? Plushy. My father gave it to me before he left. Mm. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about Cleon. I never. Or Cleon. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been see one in person. Could you catch one for me? Mm. A, a Cleon? Mm. Um, we can't catch something that's so small with a harpoon. What do we do? we use this? Oh, she gives you the bug net. Mm. A bug net? Hmm, mm, I think it might work. Mm. Alright, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you walrus? Get your tights on and jump in the water! Oh, I I'm sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that well, answers that for me. You know, you expect to catch a small creatures like you see horses. And Cleon, <laughs> which can't be caught with a harpoon. Okay. Oh my god, these people are experts. Oh. Oh, 
Yeah, they're, they're too good. I don't have to do anything. It looks like I missed something, though. Maybe? Not sure. I have five stars, so... Okay, yeah, cool. I admit, it was worth dumping all that money on those guys. Auto! Hello there, Dave! Have a good night's sleep! Well, I suppose so. You sound tired. <laughs> well, I stayed up all night working on some. What are you working on? <laughs> I'll show you. Get on your boat. Come over here next to the fish farm. And was no choice in that one. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, what is this place? <laughs> I tried some food at the restaurant. The sushi has in and rice mix in, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, that's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Mm. Oops, sorry. Bancho has superb skills, but you won't meet the picky movie director standard with that kind of green. <laughs> Since you're staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought you might help me grow some white rice. <laughs> wow, that's very nice. Thank you. Mm. And the thing is, I'm not much of a farmer. What should I do first? <laughs> I've seen how busy you are all day. I'll help you a little grow in the rice. Mm. It takes about a year in the real world to grow rice, but this is no rice farming game, is it? <laughs> You'll be able to see results in two to three days. Mm. Oh, the thing is, I've injured my legs. What? You'll have to pluck out the weeds that'll prevent insects from harming the crop. Of course, if we can have good rice, plucking weeds is no problem. I think there's a rice patch right behind this restaurant. That's really great, and also very convenient. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> glad to see you like it. I'll ask for the state of the rice patty. Technology has come a long way, and you can use a mobile app to check on it. This app's called Farm Now. I'll update you on the status every morning through the app. Mm. That reminds me. I remember when I used to be an enormous farmer. Mm. I got a farm bills in Thailand on a very hot day. I was first in the shade and white haired village chief came over, looked right into my eyes and told me en enough. Whoa. Now now cool your temper. As it happens, I see some weeds over there. Go and plug them. <laughs> you can now visit the farm. Farms where you can grow and harvest various crops. Sweet. Pull the wheelies out. Ga ga ga. Yeah, pluck the weeds out like that and I'll do the watering. I'm pretty sure that's it. The picky director will be satisfied with this rice of this quality. I don't grow rice for you in the farm. If you don't visit often, remove the weeds, the soil health score may drop, causing pests to appear. Okay. I guess this right section will come later. Use white rice in the farm to make better quality sushi. Sushi made with an and rice isn't really original sushi. <laughs> Anyway, did my controller die? What happened? Oh. Oh, I gotta cancel. Sorry. I couldn't move. I was like, why, why can't I move? I got you in the chat lock. <laughs> Check on the fish. Is there something actually I need to do in this place? Isn't this, like... Uh -huh. Come on, just wait a day, Dave. For a new fish, we'll be waiting to do you tomorrow. But I, I've been waiting days, though. Why can't I... Harvest this shit? Oh. Does this like automatically harvest when it's ready? I'm not sure. So I see like the little fish icon appear every now and then, but I don't know. Anyway, back to the boat. All right, so you can catch those seahorses now. So let's go do that. <laughs> oh, Otto, what do you want? They ate the fish at the farm yesterday. They multiply. Are you on over the fish? I was just there. I was just there. <laughs> I marked the section with new fish with hearts of the reason you drink us. It's getting worse. <laughs> Go and see for yourself. Show the tips. There's a white tip reef shark in it. Well, the mystery's nature never ceased to amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. I'll mark them with the hearts if the fish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I remind of my son who I hadn't seen in a long time. <laughs> You have a son? It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far off out of my ship, and the storm put my ship over. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come back often to check. 
Thanks to you, Otto. <laughs> Thanks to you, Otto. I feel much, I feel much less pressure to catch fish. My son is dead. <laughs> Too far. This fish was a chance for baby fish to be born. Okay. Use all ingredients? Oh, okay. Interesting. There's just a straight up reef shark down here. <laughs> so I guess I can, if they're. I'll just leave them be. I don't know if there's like a max like capacity for these things. Density. That's probably what it is. Okay. Anyway, that's interesting. Let's go back to the boat again. We're making progress, guys. Yay. Yay. Alright, what's on my phone? Well, the cook's still. Shiny deep sea blue f shiny deep sea fish sushi. You can't get it anywhere else. It's sushi, but with wings. <laughs> Wait, hold on. All plump and oily. Wow, it looks so delicious. First time was a free time, and wow. It was amazing. Alright. Guess I got some new music. PTSD. Oh, cool, okay. Pest damage. Growing. Harvestable. Okay, cool. Alright, catch Cleon. Okay, it's these things. They're depths 130 to 250. You got it. Alright. So we need to bring the, f the porridge and we also need to catch the seahorses. Seahorsei? Seahorse. Sequins. Sequins. Alright. You got anything for me? You went to the sea, people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wild that such a place exists in the sea. Mm. Seems like something else dangerous. Seems something. Seems like something dangerous was going on. Mm -hmm. It's probably related to all the recent earthquakes. Wow. Yeah, there's sure have been a lot of earthquakes around here lately. If there's an earthquake as big as the one that happened when Bonsha Sushi opened, business is done for. Wow. There's some favors the sea people asked for, so I'll get some info from them as I help. Sea people. <laughs> Doctor Bacon was right. He had to promote this to attract customers. Uh, Doctor Bacon said that poachers would come. Well, yeah, it's true. Well, let's keep an eye out. Anyway, the number of customers is increasing at Bonjo Sushi. Dave always have a gear ready for diving. And it's just what's already in the sea. Do I have to tell you again? Weapons are destroyed as soon as you come out of the sea. You can only keep weapons that have been cracked by duff. Yeah, it's tough because we never know what's out there. <laughs> so why would I call the Cobra Shop? As you know, I give you the best prices, so come on. Just get some good stuff to sell. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see what you got. Uh, I don't really care, though. Yeah, this is crap. <laughs> so I can sell the bowls, right? There's like certain things that says just like sell it. So. It triggers me that text that's appearing above his head looks like exactly like how like my tax my chat text comes up during uh, streams. So like I'm like oh who's talking? I'm like oh no. <laughs> anyway, let's go to this village. The sea people village. Alright. I've been having a little bit of alcohol. Okay, so... This must be the porridge. 
we go. Huh? There are no customers today. I guess there was a seaweed collector named Sushi. <laughs> the seaweed collector, collector provided seaweed to our restaurant. However, Sushi has been coming by, so we're out of greetings, can't accept it, we're customers. Oh no, is there a way to contact Sushi? I have the key to Sushi's house, but I can't just leave the restaurant. How'd you get the key? <laughs> oh, Sushi has a very large pet turtle. I used to go feed it from time to time. <laughs> Dave, could you go for me instead? Oh, it must be tough not to be able to open your restaurant. I'll try going there. Can you tell me where it is? The thing is, it's kind of hard to explain because the tray keeps on changing. That turtle eats so many jellyfish. Maybe there are traces nearby. Hmm, strange. I'll try looking for it. Okay. That was that one. I thought. Uh, it's this way. Oh, yeah, I can catch this. So how do I do this? How do I capture it? Oh, I like that. Okay. Easy enough. I just gotta find all those little bastards. Uh... Wait, how high can you go here? Is there a reason to go this high? Why is there so much vertical space here? A tree in the background? Why can't I keep going up? Oh, there you go. We finally reached the ceiling. <laughs> that was gonna take me forever to get back down. <laughs> well, at least they gave you the option, I suppose. It gives, you, it gives you a little better look at that giant, like, tree kind of structure in the back. Anyway, before I did that... Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, this should be... Wasn't there, like, one over here somewhere? I think there was some, like, outside the village, I think? Could be wrong about that. I remember seeing them somewhere weird, like it wasn't normal. Oh, maybe, oh it's just like in one of the buildings, that's what it was. So I need to go in the buildings to find less sea horses. Alright, so let's just give this guy some porridge. Can make him feel better. Oh, this is... It's coral porridge. You should eat it dressed. Mm, how can a human make our food? Mm. Put it there and go. Check if it's poisoned. Mm. One unreasonable sea person. Whatever. Oh, I finished the thing as well. a certain building. Maybe it was actually that building with the lady in it. That's where it was. I see why you would want to use the beluga whistle, but I want to save my bay for now, because bay, or whatever it's called. Because I don't know if I'll need any of it or not. Uh, anything on this? All right, let's go visit the dude real quick. Tenzin. Oh, this one. Yoink. Hey now, don't go pokey about the village too much. Am I trip on a seaweed with those silly little legs of yours puffed? Dear me, our troubles are getting worse. Him and hurry up and help the villagers gain their trust. Hmm, it seems the villagers seem to trust you quite a lot. 
I'd first like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. Seems everyone's friendlier than I thought. I don't trust you fully just yet, but mm, we could use all the help we can get right now. Let me explain to you about this village a bit. Do you see the tree at the center of the village? Yes, it was huge and covered in ice. Yes, we call it the divine tree. We use the fruit on this tree. This tree has an energy source. The tree has its roots far below the bottom, using the geothermal heat to create energy. Because the fruits are created from this energy, there's a giant glacier under the tree. That is, under our village. A glacier on the sea bottom. I've never heard of such a thing. But as of late, the heat coming from the deep in the earth has grown hotter, melting the ice slowly. As the temperature of the tree increases, more and more villagers are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but, but we know things aren't so simple as that. We need to check on the glacier below the surface. Because we've relied on our old agriculture, our only act. You know, relied on only agriculture for so long, we don't have the equipment or the technology to explore down there. Embarrassing as it is. That's why I told you we need to humans home. I must admit this is now our only option, my daughter. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check on the glacial area below the village for us? That sounds very dangerous. Alright. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think all this might be connected somehow. Thank you. We'll be sure to recom recompense you somehow. Now then, you'll need the key down to the glacial passage. The key? Where is the key? Tenzin, when we steal the glacial passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh dear, you're right. I said something's not right again. Human. Please go and get the key to the glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Suwan will take you there. It's not dangerous, is it? <laughs> Nothing has happened there for the last century. No one's ventured in there for hundred years. Anyways, we need you to find out what's going on in the glacier zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. Suwan will guide you on this path. Okay. Oh, cool. Thanks for the. Alright, so let's go find the last seat horse, which I'm pretty sure is in either the lady's house or the house next to it. House to the left. Maybe he's right outside the village. There's one more house to the left as well. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Gotcha! You got him. No more and more earthquakes lately. Your face should have been any stronger during times like this. Okay. okay. In this episode, I just want let's go turn the seahorse thing in and in the episode for now. I'm curious, see what happens. Maybe they'll give me like a super gun. Don't grab that mirror. I still don't know if like using bay for anything else is if I should be saving it or using it to teleport. Not until like time really passes. I should just waste your guys' time. Come on. Sorry, drink. Of course, the quest for this is on the other side of the village. Alright, we're here. Oh, well, you brought back all the seahorses! Yeah, quite difficult to find. <laughs> we can now resume our seahorse races! Yay! I'll give you seahorses thanks for your help! Wow, where can I get one? Go speak to Yami, who can you find in front of the race course? <laughs> Hope to see you around in the game, Pablo, you man. Is this guy? Oh, this guy. 
Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami. I have charge of the seahorse race racecourse. <laughs> I heard you call the seahorse that ran off. Thank you so much for that. I heard from Lin Chin already. We'll give you a nice strong seahorse as a gift for your efforts. Okay, a car seahorse. Well, I've seen many seahorses like this out elsewhere as well. Can they also race here? <laughs> of course! Bring it to me and I'll register them for the races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? It's like the register menu. <laughs> this is where you can register seahorses you got for the races. Why don't you try it out right now? Anyway. Yeah. Good! Next, select the race menu to get ready to race. Okay. Alright, but we'll do this race next time, guys. So, thank you all for watching. And ding, ding, bye, ding, bye, ding, bye, bye.